into the second phase. He talked about God just doesn't save us and forgive us and give us a brand new plan. I am ready to let down my net of sorrow, disappointment, and I'm ready to follow Jesus. The Bible says that the Lord God entered the life of Jeremiah for a second time. And God's about to do something new in your life. Let down your net again. Let down your pride, ego, whatever it is that's holding you back. And you said that's me tonight. I need to let down my net and follow Jesus in some areas tonight that I've been holding back. Just raise your hands all over this room. We're going to sing this. I want everyone to get ready. Let down your net. I want you to come down to the front and just let down that net. Are you ready? Every single one of you, raise your hand for the first or this invitation. I want you to come to the front right now because God is doing something. I can't end just like this. God is doing something. Thank you, Pastor, for turning to me because I felt there's something else that's going to happen tonight. Just come down here all over this room. I'm ready. What a word tonight. What a word tonight. Just make your way down. Y'all over this room. I'm letting down the net. to fulfill. A few weeks ago, I got an email from a, a young lady who was busy in town, and she said God called her to be a worship pastor, and she came here feeling so discouraged, wondering if there's ever an open door for her to be able to do what God's called her to do. And then the very end of service, Beverly sent me the email, so powerful, it's like at the very end of service, she said, God, the very day, if you just give me a sign that I ought to be a worship leader, then I believe that I just need something in my life to stir me on. And that night, uh, during worship at the end, you know that real fast song that we might as well do it again, all right? Um, that we sing at the end of church. I had, uh, I said, if you feel called, just raise your hand to, to sing. I just looked around, a bunch of people raised their hand. And uh, I found this, I just pointed this teenager, and that was the one. And she was like trembling. And she looked really nervous she came to the front. And now I know why. She like literally prayed that prayer and got like picked her out. Isn't it awesome how God just like, he just picks us out. He knew, like, I love that. He knew what Peter was going to do, and he still believed in him, even though he knew the things he was going to do. God believes in you, amen? He loves you, he knows. 
that if we're going to leave this place celebrate and shout and let down our nets and run into our next great future. Is there somebody here who's visiting a team who has a desire to be a worship leader? Any teenager? Any young person here? All right. We'll get you up here, brother. All right. Anyone else? Who, who, who do we got? Who do we got? Okay. Come on up here, brother. All right. Good. The glasses. Come on up here. All right. Who else do we have? Fire, okay? Passion, energy. Like so much energy that. Alright, alright. His brother's taking his time, but he'll look in here eventually. God's a patient God. Alright, alright, ready? Come on, let's go. Get a microphone, get a microphone, get a microphone. 